This is a quick tutorial of which of PDM link on how to create a drop down list attribute. Okay, so we are logged into Winchill as the administrator. We navigate to site, utilities, and then type in attribute management, which is where um, the attribute will be created, as well as the drop down list. Okay. So for this tutorial, we will create an attribute called customer name uh, for the customer document type. Then create a global enumeration list called customer list and apply it to the customer name attribute. Then finally, we will take a look at how that all comes together on the end user side. Okay, so first step is creating a reusable attribute. We have a folder. Uh, for all of our custom attributes, so I am going to add it in here. So right click in that folder, new reusable attribute. And I, I like to keep the name simple. So this would be the customer name attribute. It will be a string data type. And the display name, this is what the end users will see. So I add this space there. Click OK. Okay, so that created a reusable attribute. Now we are going to use this on the customer document type. So I expanded manage types. Then we are going to look for that customer document type, which is a subtype of a document. So it inherits all the attributes from its parent type, the document. So that's what we're seeing here. We are going to go into edit mode, and then create the customer name attribute here. Okay, so that's the internal name. We'll keep it the same. And we'll use a global attribute. Click on next, this is where we select the reusable attribute that we just created, the customer name. And then the display name again is what the end users will see. I will change the selection list out to drop down and click on finish. Okay, so that created this attribute or customer name on the customer document type. Now we need to add some constraints. Um, or actually before that we need to create the drop down list. Okay, so I'm going to I'm done with this one. Just save the changes and the list will be created under the Manage Global Enumerations. Okay, so we don't have a folder or an organizer for our um, custom enumerations. So I will create that first. folder and now we're going to create that list so new enumeration kernel name just name it customer list the display name and here's the empty list and then we'll add what goes into the drop down list um, let's see If you try to type in a space, you'll get this error. Let's do that. Okay, and let's add another one in here. So, doing it. Now we have two entries in this list. Um, we can manually sort it by dragging them, or we can just click on automatically sort and it'll be sorted alphabetically. Okay, so I'm gonna click done to save this 
And now we're going to go back to the customer document type. I'll go to that customer name attribute and we will apply this drop down. Before that, we need to go into edit mode. Then in the constraints, we will add a constraint. Really, let's add two. So one would be the enumerated value list. This is where we are going to apply that drop down. Then let's make this a required field. So when a user creates a customer document, they have to pick from the customer list. Okay, click OK. Now we have the those constraints added here. And to apply that drop down list or the global enumeration, click on the plus icon there. Select the list. Hit OK. And now it's calling out that list that we created. And then I will click on done to save the changes. Okay. So now let's see how it looks like from the end user side. So I will create a new document. And let's make sure that drop down list is there and it has the values that we defined. So from the type, it's like a customer document. And then we can see that we do have a customer name attribute. And then in the drop down, these are the two values. Thanks for watching. Um, that's all for this tutorial.